Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder tour. This time we're headed to Wilbur, Nebraska. Wilbur is a small town with a big heart. It's known as the Czech capital of Nebraska in the USA and it's home to a rich history and culture. Wilbur is the county seat of Saline County. The population was about, it's about 1,760 people. Wilbur is known as the Czech capital of Nebraska as you see in this great mural because of its large Czech population. The first settlers in the area were Tobias Castor and his family who arrived in 1862. Castor established a post office at Blue Island, a mile, mile or so south of the present day city of Wilbur. The town of Wilbur was platted in 1873 on land donated by Charles Dana Wilbur, a geologist and land speculator. We're walking towards the historic Hotel Wilbur. The Hotel Wilbur is a historic hotel that was built in 1895 as a hotel and a gathering place for social events. The builders were Isaac Hickman, Charles Whipple, J.D. Cole, and George Smith. Wilbur's earlier growth was due to its location on the Union Pacific Railroad. The railroad arrived in 1874, and soon after, the town became a major shipping point for agricultural products. In 1878, the seat of Saline County was transferred to Wilbur from Pleasant Hill. Wilbur's population grew rapidly in the late 19th and 20th centuries. The town was home to a number of businesses, including a flour mill, a brickyard, and a brewery. Wilbur was also a center for the Czech community in, in Nebraska. In 1900, about 90% of the town's population was of Czech descent. Wilbur's economy declined in the mid 20th century as many of the town's industries closed. However, the town has since rebounded and is now a center for agriculture and manufacturing. Wilbur is also home to a number of Czech cultural institutions, including the Czech Museum of Wilbur and the Czech Cultural Center.
The Sokol building, this auditorium that you see here in front of us, was built in 1930. It's listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The building historically served as a host for Sokol gymnastic events and as a meeting hall for the Czech community. In case you're wondering, the Sokol Movement is an all-age gymnastics organization first founded in Prague in the Czech region of Austria-Hungary Austria in 1862. It's based upon the principle of a strong mind and a sound body. The Sokol, through lectures, discussions, and group outings, provide physical, moral, and intellectual training. This training extended to men of all ages and classes and eventually to women.